if you have not heard of TikTok, you must have been under a rock. Since its launch in 2016, the app formerly known as Douyin has a meteoric rise in the social media world. It now boasts 800 million active users worldwide, which is staggering considering that it is only 7 years old. Not only that, it also has a very vibrant community of users with the majority between the age of 16 and 24. Over on our shores, it is no different. TikTok has an estimated 1.83 million users in Singapore. In fact, TikTok has set up a regional head office on the island. I'm sure you have seen videos of them doing snazzy dance moves. It also seems that TikTok is very popular with the younger generation, especially the students. According to a survey by NTU's Wee Kim Wee School of Communication and Information, local TikTok users spent an average of close to 20 hours a month on the platform. However, there have been concerns about students, especially the younger ones, being addicted to TikTok, especially so from parents. One such parent, Ms. Nicole Chu, voiced her concerns about her son, who is 11 years old, spending hours each evening browsing videos on TikTok, to the extent that she had to set a time limit of no more than one hour of TikTok time per day. He was introduced to TikTok by his older cousins. From being not so interested in the app, he became addicted to it. He would come home from school each day, hurry through his homework, and spend the rest of his evening watching TikTok. He will only stop for breaks to the washroom and dinner. When I ask him what he watches on TikTok, he said he'd seen do things like synchronized dance moves, comical skits, and cat videos. I really feel that though entertaining, he's wasting so much time on a daily basis watching all this stuff. According to Hootsuite, these are the top three trending content for 2022. Glow Up site number 3 For those uninitiated, the term glow up refers to before and after transformation, usually from a geeky awkward stage to a confident good looking individual. And number 2 is edgy humour, which is all about making users amused and at number 1, you guessed it, it's trending dancers, the thing that the platform is well known for, lip syncing and synchronised dancing to trending songs. However, is there more to TikTok than it seems? Are we as educators or parents able to leverage this platform that is already so popular? Isn't a battle half won if our students or kids already prefer this social media platform? A quick research shows that there are many educators, parents and students who share this point of view. That we can utilize TikTok in more wholesome ways. TikTok is more than just frivolous, mindless entertainment. Let's take a look at what these articles have to say. It definitely seems like TikTok is indeed a platform that educators can explore as evident from some educators who have changed the image of a typical TikToker. This is a map of the continents of the Earth showing how much ultraviolet light lands in each latitude. It turns out the closer you are to the equator, the more intense the ultraviolet. We use reds and purples. But then as you move away from the equator, we change the colors to orange, yellow, greens and grays. Now here's the same map of the same continent with just one color. And it turns out that everybody on Earth is descended from people that live here. Alright, question 12. If 2x minus 3y is equal to 3, then find 16 to the x over 64 to the y. So 16 and 64 can be rewritten in base what? Base 4, right? Because 4 squared is equal to 16, and 4 to the third is equal to 64. As you can see, no longer do you need to have spruced up hair and a witty sense of humour to be a TikToker. 
Based on the hashtags educational TikTok, which has 143.4 million views, as well as learn on TikTok, which has a staggering 404.6 billion views, it is suffice to say that this is a platform that is not to be ignored for educational content. Still need convincing that TikTok is no longer synonymous with frivolous content that only entertains? 